With less than a year left until the night of the extermination, Uchiha Uchiha decided to run away. As a result, he never expected to activate a system that had not been activated for 15 years, and was kidnapped by the Uchiha clan. Fortunately, the system is not without rewards, and the stronger Yuzibo is, the richer his rewards will be. So what he can do now is to make Yuzibo great again. Keywords of the novel Kiba Let Uchiha be great again without pop-ups, Kiba. Let Uchiha be great again. Download the full text, Kiba. Let Uchiha be great again. Latest chapter reading. Why not activate chapter 1? You are listening at novelfull.audio. Why not activate chapter 1? Congratulations to the host for activating the family binding system. Everyone will have their own home, and after being bound to the family, you and the family will prosper and perish together. Of course, the prosperity of the family can also bring you tremendous improvement, whether it is your strength chakra or blood inheritance limit, sitting in his room, Uchiha Hanahara's face turned pale, especially as he looked at the panel in his retina. He felt his brain was a bit confused. He knows what this is, if nothing unexpected, it should be his golden finger. But the problem is that he has been traveling here for 15 years, a whole 15 years. At least others can still play, if you're a brother, come and kill me for three more years. And what he was playing was, but the real version of, if it's a ninja, come and kill me. He has been waiting for so many years without seeing him, and he has already decided to give up, let alone his current strength is not bad. It has been fifteen years since Yuji Boyohara traveled here, and his luck is very good because he was too young to avoid the craziest moments of the third battle. He only experienced the brutality of war at the end of the Third World War, just like his classmate Yuzibo Jishue, who was also his age. However, as a traveler, although he couldn't bear the cruelty on the battlefield, he still had a strong spiritual power. And he has always been very clear about how the evolution of the Sharingan takes place, so he has been trying to improve his Sharingan for the past 15 years. And now, even though he is only 15 years old, he, like Jishue, has been hailed as one of the most outstanding geniuses in the family. But he was very clear in his heart that he was actually far behind Jishue. Jishue has the potential to write will eyes in a kaleidoscope. Although he himself knows how to activate the Sharingan in the kaleidoscope, he has yet to find the appropriate emotion to activate it. The opening method of the kaleidoscope writing will eye is not necessarily to kill the person closest to you, it requires an ultimate mental stimulation and fluctuation. Therefore, killing the person closest to you would be the simplest method, but this method is not applicable to him at all. After all, he knew that this method would naturally prepare him psychologically. This is a person's own self.protection, and he doesn't even need to try to know that he will inevitably fail. Without the kaleidoscope Sharingan, there would be no way to deal with Uchiha Itachi going crazy, and in the end, it's probably just the undead under this guy's sword. Fifteen years have passed, and by now, it has been almost 50.5 years, which means that there is less than a year left until Yuchibo Itachi takes action. And now the atmosphere within the family is becoming increasingly oppressive, there seems to be an illusion that a storm is about to come. Hanaera knew about such a tragedy, and he didn't do anything to solve it, so the only thing he could do was run away. At this point, he has already started packing his things, preparing to turn around and run at the right time. Can't he avoid it if he can't provoke him? If you run away and keep a low profile, it's a close call, but if you stay, you'll end up dead. So it seems clear at a glance how to choose. But today, while he was planning where he was going, a panel suddenly appeared in the corner of his eye. The information inside this panel immediately made Yuhara's face turn blue. He never dreamed that his damn golden finger would be activated at this moment. Even if activated, how could you still bind yourself to the Uchiha clan? Can this be considered as being kidnapped? How long can the Uchiha clan survive? It takes a year to say more, but strictly speaking, whether it takes 10 months or not is a question. Even if we save the Uchiha clan now, what about the future? 
not to mention the guy who flew in the sky shouting a bag of rice resistance and pushed the wooden leaves flat in one fell swoop, just a little carelessness in the exam would cause them to lose a lot of people. This is really not binding a family, it's just binding even the leaves of wood by chance, and I can't run away with the family. Regardless of the wood leaf, the family in the wood leaf accident will suffer together. Running away with his family, let alone who will pay attention to him. Even if he really becomes a tree leaf, will he let them go? Thinking of this, Yuji Boyohara felt even more depressed and headache-stricken, but at this point, he had no good way to deal with it. But now he knew that he couldn't run away at all. Who knew he was running outside but Yuji Bo Itachi took action, and then he inexplicably hung up. This is not worth the loss. It doesn't matter if others die, but he definitely can't die. He shook his head helplessly, and all he could do now was try his best to come up with a solution while also looking at what other content the system had. Current Binding Azibo Clan, Current Status Extremely bad. The family is in a state of severe division internally, with evil people looking around from the outside, prosperity level. 8848, normal family base prosperity level is 10,000, suggestion. End the family split as soon as possible, stabilize the internal environment of the family, and unite people who can unite to face difficulties together, you really know how bad the Uchiha clan is now. Why are you still activating it now? It would be great not to activate it for a lifetime. Yuji Boyohara couldn't help but curse when he saw this place. Fortunately, there was no one around, otherwise he might have been treated like a lunatic. How chaotic and divided is the Uchiha clan? It's very simple, you can refer to the Freedom Lighthouse on the other side of the Pacific in the previous life of Hanaera. There is a natural hierarchy conflict between the people who can become ninjas and those who cannot. After becoming a ninja, there is also a level conflict between those who can activate the Sharingan and those who cannot. Yuzibo also turned the security department into a family business, which created a hierarchical conflict between those who could and could not enter the security department. In addition, there are two major factions within the Uchiha clan, one is the hawkish faction of the main battle and the other is the dove faction of the main piece. These two factions are also constantly fighting, doing almost everything except fighting, and the entire family is forced to stand in line no matter who. Anyway, the Uchiha clan is chaotic and divided. However, what slightly improved Uchiha's expression was that the system still gave him some things. Host is bound to family, family prospers, and host can gain more power according to the current situation of the family, the host can obtain three abilities for cultivation, dancing in the sky. Able to fly in the sky with the help of chakras, Aoi, Chinyo. Can throw Kowu with Thunder Dun Chakra, each with the power of Chinyo, without Thunder Dun attribute, it can be obtained through skills, glorious evolution. You can obtain power fragments by killing enemies, thereby enhancing your own ability, can be 1 slash 1 times, end of this chapter. Chapter 2 Yuzibo Water Stop You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Yuzibo Water Stop Seeing the three options in front of him, Yuhara couldn't help but fall into contemplation. None of these three skills are from Hokage World, and two of them come from a game he played in his previous life. As for the other one, if I'm not mistaken, it seems like the world that can blow up a planet with just one punch, right? Although the origins of these abilities are indeed somewhat peculiar, it must be said that all three abilities are highly coveted by him. Not to mention the dancing technique, it allows people to fly in the sky. You should know that there aren't many people in the entire world of Hokage who can fly. Aoi Chienyao should be the ability of an electric mouse, but it seems to have been modified here, equivalent to throwing a sword in the hand with the power of a Chienyao. The most important thing is that if you don't have the Thunder Dunk attribute, obtaining this ability naturally allows you to obtain it. This is really impressive. While obtaining a powerful ninjutsu, I also got a chakra attribute for nothing. As for the last glorious evolution, it is obvious that this is a passive skill, 
and without Hanaera following the path of mechanical ascent, it can actually enhance a ability. Although the conditions are somewhat harsh, it requires Hanaera to kill its enemies to obtain some power fragments, but its effect is really terrifying. This also means that Yuhara is now the Sharingan of Sankokuyu, so he can use this ability to elevate his Sharingan to a kaleidoscope. Does this count as a doorstep benefit? Although he was in a very bad mood, he felt that he couldn't accept such a reward. Because he has the kaleidoscope Sharingan, he can also have a certain degree of self-protection ability within the family. Although time is running out, he must work hard for his own little life, and he will never accept dying in this ghostly place. Obtaining Skill Glorious Evolution, Activation Condition Requires 100 Power Fragments to complete activation, Power Fragments. Upper Ninja can obtain 25, Middle Ninja can obtain 20, Lower Ninja can obtain 10, and Ordinary Enemies range from 1 to 5, Friendly Reminder, Ninja Level is not related to Ninja Strength. Please try your best. After Uchiha Hanaera made a choice, a system prompt panel quickly appeared in his eyes, and upon seeing this panel, he breathed a sigh of relief. Having specific details is much easier to handle, and the last friendly reminder is even more uplifting for him. As is well known, the level and strength of ninjas are different. It should be noted that Naruto Vortex was still a ninja during World War IV. Similarly, the relationship between Uchiha and Chiba is only a matter of upper ninja, and linking ninja level to one's own strength is the biggest misunderstanding, and it is also the most deceitful aspect. The ninja world has always used chakra reserves and strength to determine a person's approximate ninja level, but this is only for reference. Knowing that a person's chakra probably falls under the category of upper tolerance, then it is necessary to face it with a mindset and preparation to deal with upper tolerance, which is the most important thing. If we only consider the ninja level, then it is indeed much easier. If the dam system were activated earlier, wouldn't it be better for me to directly enter the security department? Yuji Boyu was originally a mission ninja, and although his talent allowed him to enter the security department, he ultimately refused. This is a way to protect one's reputation, because the security department is really smelly in my, and he really doesn't want to step into such a place. But now he also has some regrets, because there is an important place under the jurisdiction of the security department, which is the Kiba prison. The authority of the security department is still significant, although the reputation has been shattered due to the self-inflicted death of the Uchiha clan. And the senior management of Kiba also used this reason to continuously reduce the power of the security department, but from beginning to end, Kiba prison was under the jurisdiction of the security department. Perhaps this is to make the reputation of the security department worse, as this has always been the case with Kiba over the years. It's not realistic for the security department to go to prison now. It seems like I can only arrest people myself. Yuji Boyuhara sighed helplessly. For the sake of his own eyes, he felt that he should go out and catch people honestly. Thinking of this, Yu Yuan stood up and walked out the door, and soon he arrived on the street. Time is urgent now, and he still has a lot to do, which cannot be delayed at all. He is now walking and thinking about who would be better off to take down himself. To be honest, the ninja world is so big, but there aren't many upper ninjas, after all, upper ninjas are already a strategic resource of the village. There are very few who are easy to deal with, and no qualified one is easy to deal with. However, he did think of a guy. Green 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 Kuei. This kid is from the same generation as Uchiha Hanaera and was only a medium ninja during his time at Kiba. However, after he stole the Sword of the Thunder God and defected, he obtained the position of upper ninja. Dealing with such a guy is not too easy, but the biggest problem is that this damn guy actually ran to Rain Hidden Village. What is Yuin Village? Is that the place he can go to? Since he came and went, he's already dead. If it were in his current weak chicken state, wouldn't it be a gift? It's really troublesome enough. Yu Yuan rubbed his eyebrows as he walked. He really had a headache now. 
where are he going to find four people to endure it? What's the trouble, Yuhara? However, at that moment, a voice suddenly sounded in his ear, causing his body to stiffen slightly. I cursed inwardly that I didn't pay attention to the situation around me because I was thinking about things. If I were an enemy, I would probably feel cold. But when he turned around and saw the person coming, he couldn't help but breathe a little sigh of relief and then showed a smile. It's you, Jishue. Are you back? That's right, the person who appeared behind Hanaera was Uchiha no Mizumi. Jishue and Yuyuen are from the same generation, and they have had a competitive relationship since childhood. However, as they get along, Yuyuen finds that Jishue is still a relatively easy guy to get along with. And compared to Uchiha Itachi, this guy is a world of difference. At least this guy has a relatively weak personality and chooses to commit suicide when facing extreme difficulties. In the village and family, he did not blindly lean towards one side. His greatest wish was to maintain harmony between the village and the family, rather than to eliminate the family for the sake of the village. And Uchiha Itachi, Yuhara, genuinely dislikes this self-righteous guy. Whether it's everything he did to the Uchiha clan or everything he did to Sasuke, it no longer means that he always thought he could control everything. Yuhara had contact with him when he was young, but when he expressed some of his stance and attitude, this kid ignored Yuhara. But Jishue is different. He actually agrees with Yuyuen's idea of, family and village are one, which has greatly improved the relationship between Yuyuen and Jishue. But now he is forcibly bound by his family, making it impossible for him to escape from Shintian, and he is even more dissatisfied with the perspective of Uchiha Itachi. As for waterproofing, he felt that he also had to do something. After all, his philosophy has not deviated, and he will have a kaleidoscope writing will I in the future. This guy is definitely the one I want to fight for. End of this chapter Chapter 3 only me and you. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 3 Only Me and You, yeah, it's rare to have a vacation, so naturally I have to come back and take a look. Jishue also smiled and looked at Yuhara, not knowing what Yuhara's mind was actually calculating. I just finished my task today and naturally planned to take a good rest. He originally wanted to find Yuzibo Itachi, but unfortunately Itachi hasn't rested yet. Although both of them belong to the dark side, there are several battalions in the dark side, and each battalion's base is located in a different position. They are not in the same team, and naturally they are not clear about the other party's current situation, so it is inevitable that sometimes he will come back empty-handed. However, encountering Yuhara was clearly something that made him feel happy, but what surprised him was that Yuhara seemed to be troubled by something. Let's talk about it. What's going on? We're friends, and I can't help if we're in trouble. In fact, there are many troubles, aren't personal troubles and family troubles all troubles? Upon hearing Jishue's inquiry, Yu Yuan couldn't help but sigh slightly, and his words also changed Jishue's originally happy expression. It was obvious that his face had become stiff, and the smile slowly disappeared from his face. Don't talk about such a headache at this moment, right? Finally, a bitter smile remained on Jishue's face. He shook his head and sighed, is there a meeting within the family? Almost so, every time it's like entering the market, it's really annoying. Hanaera shook his head before continuing, but it's foreseeable that those extreme guys will probably have the upper hand. Although there is only less than a year left until the final night of extermination, in fact, the hawks and doves within the clan have not yet fully grasped the power of family discourse. There is one thing that has to be said here, and that is Yuji Bo Fuyue. It is this guy who has always kept the current Uchiha in a weak balance, allowing the doves and hawks to fight each other but not dominate. But it is precisely this guy's actions that have never truly unified a voice within the Uchiha clan. And there is also an important trigger for Uchiha's rebellion, which is Tuanzang. Because Tuanzang attacked Jishue, a representative of the Dove faction, and Jishue's death was also the reason why those Dove faction members completely defected. However, 
none of this has happened yet. Hannah Eric can still do something during this period, but it must be said that the Hawks do have a huge advantage. It's really a huge trouble, Ji Shui sighed deeply. If the family continues like this, they may enter a deep abyss. It's really a huge trouble, Ji Shui sighed deeply. If the family continues like this, they may enter a deep abyss. Indeed, you will step into the abyss, after all, do you still have a weasel? Upon hearing Ji Shui's words, Hana Era suddenly spoke meaningfully, I don't think they don't know anything. Yu Yuan's words slightly changed Ji Shui's expression. He quickly looked around and only breathed a sigh of relief after confirming that there were no other people around. He certainly knew what they meant by Yuhara's words, that is, he knew he would look ugly. And what he and Itachi did also betrayed the family to some extent. Some things can't be said randomly, Yuhara. Ji Shue looked at Yuhara with a serious expression, and his voice also lowered. This will cause a lot of trouble, and it's still the clan leader's intention for us to enter the dark side. Of course I know it's the clan chief's intention, Yuhara looked at Jishue with a smile on his face. However, I didn't say too much. Why are you so nervous? Yu, Jishue was a bit frustrated by Yu Yuan's words, and he didn't know how to respond for a moment. All right, actually everyone is not stupid. Some things can be understood as open secrets, Yu Yuan sighed lightly. If you want to obtain intelligence, you naturally need to gain trust, and the best way to gain trust is to hand over the corresponding intelligence, right? Yuhara's words made Jishue slightly close his eyes. Of course, he could hear that Yuhara was saying they were double-dot-sided spies, but he couldn't deny that Yuhara was really right. However, double-dot-sided spies also have biases, and only they themselves may know which side they are leaning towards. However, you actually mentioned the clan chief, so I have a question to ask you. Yu Yuan saw that Shizuki was silent, and a smile couldn't help but appear on his face. Then he whispered and asked. Clan leader. Ji Shui opened his eyes and looked at Yu Yuan with some curiosity, because Yu Yuan's words were too fast for his thinking. Forget it, you can ask, if it's just about the clan chief. Do you think the clan chief has great power? The clan leader leads the family and naturally has great power. So, why doesn't he find a way to calm down the chaos within the family? Yuhara's question really stunned Shizuki, and then his face became stunned, and finally began to become somewhat unbelievable or even shocked. He never dreamed that Yu Yuan, who grew up with him, would dare to ask such a question. And it is obvious that his words are questioning his own clan leader. The clan leader's control and mastery over the family cannot be questioned by others at all. How dare he ask, how should he answer? However, Yuhara's words also made him involuntarily start to ponder, why is the family in chaos like this, but the clan leader still hasn't done anything. Yu Yuan saw the dull appearance of Shizuki, and he knew that his words had definitely triggered Shizuki's thinking. Actually, Jishue has never been foolish, it's just that he can't see many things at all, or his vision hinders his perspective on observing the world. However, Yu Yuan was a traveler who had studied politics in high school before traveling, and had attended Mao Zedong, Ma Zhe, and Si Xiu in university. His vision was truly beyond comparison. Or rather, besides his abilities that still need to be tested, his vision is definitely no worse than any shadow in the ninja realm. This is the advantage of a traveler, it is a high latitude crushing from their perspective and knowledge. I think you also know that he does have the power to unite within the family, but what is the current family like? Besides the poor handling within the family, are you looking at the deteriorating relationship between the family and the village? A family naturally needs to unite in order to avoid internal conflicts, and only by unifying all opinions and thinking can one better do something. Stop water, think about it. If the voices within the clan were suppressed by him, there would be no more disputes. And his psychology turned towards Mu Yi. Will someone stop him, and will the relationship between his family and the village be so bad speaking of which, Yuhara can be considered as the true ultimate enemy. 
Although he was well aware that the problems of the Uchiha clan were not solely caused by the actions of Uchiha Fuyue, he was indeed one of the main drivers of Uchiha's downfall. But things need to be done step by step. First, give the concept of stopping water to make him feel puzzled, then the real surprise will come next. Actually, I have always believed that there are only two people who can truly change a family. Two by two. Jishue's mind was still a bit dizzy now. He looked at Yu Yuan in shock, his words echoing in his mind. Yes, two people. At this moment, Yuhara's smile became increasingly bright. He extended his finger to stop the water, then pointed to himself. One is you, and the other is me. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 How to Manage the Family Together with These Insects You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 How to Manage the Family Together with These Insects Unfortunately, there are no green plums now, and they are on the street. Otherwise, Yuhara would really want to have a green plum to cook wine and discuss the clan leader. However, his words still had a strong impact, and Yuzibo Jishue was completely numb now. Looking at his dull expression, Yu Yuan was still very happy. If one's own words cannot cause internal fluctuations in the water stop, then it is equivalent to the failure of their approach. Strictly speaking, these things are really risky for Jishue, but as he is forcibly bound to his family by the system, he only needs to make a decision as soon as possible. Although less than a year may seem like a lot of time, Hanaera is almost starting from scratch. It only takes one year to start from scratch, so it's really not enough if he's not in a hurry. Yuhara, do you know what you're really talking about? However, at this very moment, Jishue finally woke up and looked around almost immediately to determine if anyone was around. After truly confirming that they were in a safe environment, he said to Hanaera with a serious and even somewhat unsightly expression. Your idea is very dangerous, it's really too dangerous, you. Am I wrong? Before Shizuki could finish speaking, Yuhara interrupted him directly. Although Yuhara's voice remained low, there was also an unprecedented determination. You and I are both young, we both have energy and drive, and we all have a common goal. Although our goals may differ to some extent, at least we both yearn for peaceful coexistence between our family and the village. But take a look at how the relationship between the family and the village has deteriorated under the leadership of Yuji Bofuyue. Stop water, your identity is the most special, you should see it the most clearly. Jishue gritted his teeth tightly, seeming to want to refute, but he couldn't say a word. Because he himself knew that his heart had accepted Yu Yuan's words, and it can even be said that at this moment, his heart had begun to waver. This is a dangerous signal, and as a ninja, stopping water is clear enough, but Hanahara's words are deeply buried in his heart, making it impossible for him to forget. Is everything a problem for the clan leader? As long as we change or even replace a better clan leader, everything can be solved. After a long time, Ji Shue's expression calmed down. He stared at Yu Yuan tightly before slowly speaking up and asking, So, if you were the clan leader, what would you do? Stop water, have you noticed that your perspective on problems is really narrow? At this moment, Yu Yuan made a slight move and let out a sigh before slowly speaking. As a clan leader, both you and I know how to do it, but to what extent, it all depends on the village's stance. At this point, Yuhara suddenly changed direction and walked towards the forest behind the family with Shizuki. The forest behind the Uchiha clan is an abandoned training ground, where the one who trained here was the one with the soil. But unfortunately, after he left, this place became even more desolate, but it was cheaper than the current Hana era. He likes to come to this place for training on weekdays. It can be said that this place is almost becoming his private base, and he is not afraid of being noticed when speaking here. What do you mean by that? After observing for four weeks, Jishue finally revealed the question he had been wanting to ask. What does it mean to look at the village's statement? Do we still have problems dealing with the village's relationship after becoming the clan leader? So, I said your thinking is a bit narrow, stop water. 
Yuhara smiled casually, but soon his smile began to fade away, and he looked serious all over. Family and village are one entity, and this cannot be changed no matter what. Do you know what the biggest criticism of the Uchiha clan is now? Criticism. Jishue shook his head gently. Although he could see more when he entered the dark area, being able to see did not mean he could understand the meaning behind it. For example, he couldn't understand why the guy named Jitsu and Tuanzang inside the root was so disgusted with Uchiha. It can be said that seeing and understanding are really two different things. I can tell you very clearly that's the security department. Yuhara let out a faint sigh. He thought he didn't know how to reveal these secrets, and after running away, he could use them to kidnap this kid when he met Sasuke. But now he must take it out to try to persuade the water stop. The main task of the security department is to maintain public security and stability within the village of Kiba Ninja. At the same time, it is also responsible for formulating laws in the village, strengthening and maintaining order and public security in Muyin village, and arresting people and ninjas with criminal tendencies. To be honest, Yuzibo's performance in this regard is not too bad, but do you know why the reputation of the security department is so bad, I don't know, Ji Shui shook his head and then looked at Yu Yuan seriously, waiting for him to give an answer. He probably didn't even realize that he looked more like a curious student now. In fact, everything still needs to be said about our second dot generation Hokage, because the Kiba police department he established is the root of everything. In name, this important department was entrusted to Uchiha, but in reality, the Uchiha clan was tasked with playing a role in punishing evil. And under the pretext of monitoring criminals, the police department was built together with the prison, so that the Uchiha clan was boldly pushed to the corner of Kiba Ninja Village. After all, our family had experienced Uchiha before, and the purpose of the second dot generation Hokage was to monitor Uchiha. It is also to prevent the next Uchiha wave from appearing and to respond immediately. In his opinion, this is a better way to protect the wooden leaves at this point, Yuhara paused slightly, while Jishue's face had completely changed. He knows who Yuji Boban is and has heard of the story of this former clan leader. Even he knew that there were still many followers of Uchiha in the Uchiha clan. The third generation Hokage and its core team are basically disciples of the second generation Hokage, and they have always firmly followed the concept of the second generation Hokage. Before Jishue could fully absorb these words, Yuhara spoke again, and this time his words sank Jishue's heart to the bottom. Under such an ideology, Kiba never trusted Uchiha from beginning to end, especially after the Nine Tails incident, where such distrust became even more severe. Looking at the current situation of Uchiha, it is clear that in some sense, Uchiha is being forced by them. Unfortunately, we have encountered such a clan leader, and our fate can actually be imagined at this point, Yuhara truly sighed, and then his gaze turned serious to Jishue, who seemed a bit dazed. That's why I said, if we overthrow Yuzibo Fuyue, we actually need to see the attitude of the village. But as we unify the internal opinions of our family, we are definitely more intimidating than a dispersed family. At least our attitude cannot let Kiba ignore us like this. Even if we do well enough and have enough say, we can even become Hokage through our own efforts Yuhara looked at the surface in silence, but there seemed to be a hint of fiery stillness in his eyes. He smiled and patted his shoulder heavily. So, how can we manage the family together with these insects? We need to believe in ourselves. Newcomers seeking new books for collection and QAQ for follow. Up reading, end of this chapter. Chapter 5 New Rewards you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 5 New Rewards In fact, Yuhara still hasn't said one thing, that is, how can we manage the wood leaves well together with these insects? But it's not important anymore, what's important is that he can see the current state of the water stop. Yu Yuan's words were very provocative, and although Ji Shui did not speak, his gaze towards Yu Yuan had changed. Without hesitation, Yuhara's words completely changed many of Jishue's inner thoughts. Although there are many violent theories that can be instilled at once, 
all of them are reasonable and definitely withstand deep reflection. After all, he is a traveler. Having watched the plot of the original work, he himself stands at a commanding height and overlooks everything. Although Zhishui's personality can be despairing at critical moments, he is also a smart person who chooses to commit suicide only when he sees that something cannot be done. And as a secret agent, if his brain is really not working well, he cannot get in. And as a member of the dark side, he has access to a lot of information. He quietly reviews the information in his mind and combines it with Hanahara's words to understand. He was saddened to find that all that Yuhara had said was true, and such a fact also dealt a severe blow to his heart. From his subsequent state, it seemed that this guy was still struggling, and Yuhara knew that there was no need to instill any violent theories in him at this time. What he needs to do now is to rest well, then adjust his state well, and most importantly, adjust his mentality. Just like that, I don't have to think about going out to take on tasks today. Yuhara silently sighed, and then he simply sent Jishue back home, and then returned to his own residence. Yuhara's home is a relatively spacious two-bedroom, one-living-room small bungalow. His parents sacrificed their lives during World War III, and this house was left to him by his parents. Moreover, as a talented member of the family, Yuhara had access to a wealth of information, so this small bungalow was filled with the materials he had read. However, this room doesn't look messy at all because he also has a privilege, which is that the family will arrange personnel to clean the room for him. He doesn't need to put in any effort in this aspect at all. He just needs to cultivate with peace of mind, even if he hasn't chosen to join any family camp yet. It can be said that Yuhara's original life was still good, but this kind of life is less than a year away. If he wants to continue maintaining or even getting a better life, while also finding ways to save his own life, then he must work hard to do something. Sure enough, people only appear to work extra hard for their own small lives. Lying in bed with all his thoughts, Yuhara began to ponder what kind of reaction Shizuki would have, and more precisely what kind of choice he would make. And even if he doesn't consider the water-stopping guy, he still needs to think carefully about how to drive Yuzibo Fuyue away. There are actually only two ways to drive away Yuzibo Fuyue, one is to peacefully solve the problem. But it is obvious that within the Uchiha clan, finding a peaceful solution to problems has always been a difficult task. These neurological disorders have always been representatives of high self-esteem. If you want to reason with them, you must first have the ability to make them believe that you have the qualifications to reason with them. How to obtain such qualifications? It's very simple, that's just relying on fists. No matter how much Naruto tried to persuade Sasuke in the future, it was useless, but when he changed his approach and blinded Sasuke in the final, Battle of the Broken Hand. The problem was solved instantly, and Naruto didn't even need to say anything. Sasuke himself had already surrendered and become honest and obedient. It seems that the only way to make Yuzibo Fuyue leave is through some violent means. Yuhara muttered to himself, actually, if he has time, he can't start from the security department. Then gather everyone who can be gathered to form a new alliance of interests, and find opportunities to assassinate the most extreme group of people. Assassination is not the best solution, but sometimes killing someone through assassination techniques, such as their spiritual leader, can have a different effect. Because these guys often have an interest group as the most important figure, they know what their political demands are, and they will also come up with their own action plans. With these two things in mind, they will make their subordinates quiet, and everyone will be quiet. Once they make their subordinates pick up weapons, the consequences will be unimaginable. To defeat the Black Panther Party at the lighthouse on the other side of the ocean is to kill their true spiritual leaders and dismantle them from within. The once popular Black Panther Party turned into a group of scattered sand without clear political demands and action plans, and eventually became a punctuation mark in Hollywood. But maybe I will do this kind of thing in the future, but Yuzibo Fuyue is the biggest trouble. Does he have a kaleidoscope will I? It is indeed an extremely troublesome matter whether Yuji Bo Fuyue has a kaleidoscope will I, 
and it seems that he did not show any traces in the original manga. But in Itachi Shin-chan, he revealed his kaleidoscope in front of Uchiha Itachi. Yuhara didn't know which world it was, but he felt that he had to be prepared for the worst, which was when this guy had a kaleidoscope will I. And this guy has a kaleidoscope, so he must be even more careful and cautious no matter what. So, I also need to open my eyes as soon as possible, no matter what, I need to take action tomorrow, and then gather all four upper ninjas. Yuhara pondered inwardly, but at that moment he suddenly realized that his retina had once again jumped out of the system panel. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the initial recognition of Azibo water stop. Yujibwa was awakened by the host's words when he stopped water. He had already begun to realize the problems within the family, as well as the problems within the family and the village, although he hasn't spoken yet, he may choose to help you with certain things, upon seeing this scene, Yuhara was taken aback for a moment, and then he couldn't help but show a happy expression on his face. It's great to have received recognition from the water stop, even if it's just a preliminary recognition, because everyone's heart is sensitive and full of doubt. Having doubts is not a bad thing, because having doubts leads to a sense of expectation, and when doubts are broken step by step, what you get is the most complete. It seems that further training is needed to broaden his horizons, so that he can help me more. Yuhara was extremely happy, although he was not sure if Shizuki had opened the kaleidoscope Sharingan, at least he did in the original work. This also means that Hanaera has the support of a future ninja with a kaleidoscope, how can he not feel happy? And what made him even more happy was that his system panel had once again undergone changes. Current Binding Azibo clan, current status. Extremely bad. The family is in a state of severe division internally, with evil people looking around from the outside, prosperity level. 9848, normal family base prosperity level is 10,000, suggestion. End the family split as soon as possible, stabilize the internal environment of the family, and unite people who can unite to face difficulties together, congratulations to the host for obtaining 1000 points. 1000 points can earn one ability draw, dancing in the sky. Able to fly in the sky with the help of chakras, flame burning. Can obtain fire escape flame burning, which quickly spreads around and causes damage to nearby enemies, without fire escape attribute, it can be obtained through skills, hurricane roar. Can obtain wind escape, hurricane roar, change air pressure and temperature, and summon small storms in small areas, more chakras can increase the volume of storms, no wind escape attribute can be obtained through skills, end of this chapter. Chapter 6 I accompany you. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 6 I accompany you, is it dancing in the air again? Looking at the one out of three reward this time, Although Yuhara was very happy, he was still relatively calm. After all, I have already experienced it twice a day, and it's difficult to get high excitement. Besides, the rewards this time are not as abundant as the first time. Anyway, the first time he received the glorious evolution, it was destined that his Sharingan could evolve to the level of a kaleidoscope. I'm afraid what can still excite him now is something at a higher level, right? Of course, this is just his imagination. Although he has obtained the passive of glorious evolution at the current stage, he has not fully utilized this passive. Thinking about higher dot level things is basically just a dream, and handling everything in front of you is the most crucial. As for the choice this time, there is actually not much to choose from. As a Uchiha, he is already skilled in fire evasion, so he has no intention of acquiring the skill of burning blaze. Although the effect seems to be very good, Hanaera is not without other alternative solutions, such as the Haohua extermination which he cannot learn. The power of the Great Fire Extinction is indeed great, but in reality, it is only a B.level or C.level ninjutsu. Its strength and power are completely linked to chakras, which means that the more chakras you inject, the higher the power it can unleash. And the howling of a hurricane is indeed decent. Yuhara is good at fire and earth evasion, but he really doesn't have the ability of wind evasion. 
but compared to being able to fly freely in the sky, he felt that things like foam dun couldn't be released for a while. Besides, the dance technique has appeared twice already. If we don't take it, it's really unacceptable. Undoubtedly, Hanahara's choice this time was undoubtedly a dance technique, and the feeling of flying in the sky is something that no one would want to miss. Unless there are more difficult options to choose from, such as evolving one's own eyes. After obtaining this technique, Yuhara couldn't wait to run to the forest behind Uchiha and experiment again after dark. It has to be said that this feeling of free flight is indeed great, but Hanaera also noticed that the cost of this spell for chakra is not low. For his current chakra reserves, he can fly for an hour at slow speed, but he may not be able to hold on for even five minutes at high speed. And flying also needs to consider the situation in the sky, and the various impacts caused by rapid flying are also significant, but it's enough for me now. Hanaera was still very satisfied, and for him, the dance technique added another life.saving ability, after all, there were very few people in the entire ninja world who could fly. Without hesitation, unless he encounters guys like Pain and Anoki in the later stages, he won't be able to catch up with anyone if he wants to run away. In order not to attract too much attention, Hanaera returned to his residence honestly after conducting experiments. After a good night's rest, he chose to go directly to the task center early the next morning to take a look. To hunt down Shangren, it is necessary to have a suitable reason to leave the village, so taking on the task and completing it is the best choice. At the same time, he also planned to see if there was anything worth pursuing, such as the rebellion of Kiba. It would be great if he found a suitable target. Hmm water stop. What Yuhara didn't expect was that he met this guy, Jishue, just as he left the house. At this moment, he seemed a bit tired, his eyes red as if he had looked at the Sharingan, but it was obvious that this was the result of him not resting well. Although Yuhara had already learned through the system that Jishue had initially identified with him, he did not expect this guy to be so conflicted. After all, in Yuhara's opinion, there seems to be nothing worth worrying about. The actions of the village and the inaction within the family have led to the current Uchiha. As long as you have a clear understanding of the essence of this matter, it will be easy and simple to understand. As for entanglement. Yuhara, early morning. Jishue still looked a bit mentally ill, but at this moment, he remained particularly serious and said directly to the point. I pondered all night, and although I agree with your ideas and viewpoints in principle, stop, this is not the place to talk, and I have something else to do. We'll talk slowly later. Yuhara immediately stopped this guy, Shizuki, and let him talk nonsense. Who knows if the wall has ears? Yuhara doesn't have the ability to perceive ninjas. If someone with a heart really hears him, they don't have to think about anything and don't have to play anything. Be honest and wait for Yuji Boatachi to pick up the butcher's knife, and die together with the soil and the root of Tuan Sang. Jishue suddenly realized, although he showed a slight expression of self-blame. He knew he had done something he shouldn't have done, and if it weren't for Hanahara's quick reaction, he might have caused trouble. But soon he looked at Yuhara with some confusion, because he noticed Yuhara's words. What's up? Jishue asked curiously, is there a task? Not yet, but I plan to take on some tasks, Yuhara shook his head lightly. The family is too oppressive, and I am already very resistant to such meetings. At the same time, I also plan to think carefully about how I will do it next. Thinking about what to do, Yuhara didn't explain it clearly at all, but Shizuki immediately understood his meaning. And he must also admit that the family environment is indeed very bad. Especially after listening to Yuhara's words yesterday, he carefully thought about it all night and found that it was really what he said. Although Yuhara's words were not pleasant to listen to, the fact seems to be so. How can we manage the family together with those insects? They never traced the root of the problem, and ironically, they even thought that the security department was a coveted treasure. But in fact, this is a talisman, a tool that gradually distanced the family and Kiba, and an institution that corrupted Uchiha. The family has changed, 
and Kiba doesn't trust the family at all. To change everything, they can only rely on themselves. Suddenly, Jishue realized that he had always underestimated his friend and classmate. They compete and grow together, and are hailed as the geniuses of the family. But without hesitation, he fell into an abyss and quagmire, while his good friend remained indifferent. But it is his approach that allows him to see everything clearly and let him know where the drawbacks of Uchiha lie. He is the most sober person in this family. With this in mind, the psychology of stopping water has made a decision, but before he finally expresses his decision, he still needs to think carefully and observe. For example, UUN, let me accompany you on this mission. Ah. What are you saying? I said I want to accompany you because only then can I learn more. Dot. End of this chapter. Chapter 7. If I were the clan chief. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 7. If I were the clan chief, Yuhara never expected that this guy, Jishue, had plans to carry out tasks with him. However, what he didn't expect even more was that after Jishue reported this matter, the old man ape flying sun slaying actually agreed. It is understandable that Jishue wants to follow along, as he still has many questions to ask and many things to understand. But as a secret agent, it's not easy for him to leave the village at will, especially now that Uchiha's situation is becoming increasingly complex. However, reality often exceeded Yuhara's expectations, and the monkey flying sun slash actually agreed to stop the water, which made Yuhara couldn't help but start thinking about the monkey flying sun slash's ideas. Is it difficult for someone to follow and plan to see what they really want to do? Yuhara thought maliciously in his heart, but upon closer examination, he seemed to understand that this was probably a way for the monkey flying sun to win people's hearts. Jishue's current performance is completely loyal to the monkey flying sun slash and the wood leaf, and his special identity has caused him a lot of pressure. He is aware of the situation within the Uchiha clan, and in such a highly stressful and oppressive environment, it is natural for him to go out and take a walk with friends. However, Hanaera himself has always performed well in terms of personality since childhood, and he has been relatively friendly to everyone within Kiba. He doesn't have the unique and inexplicable arrogance of Yujibwa. Even if an ordinary person is in trouble, he can help whenever he encounters it. Such a person, no matter how they look at it, has a fundamental difference from other Uchiha, and it is feared that Ape Flying Sun Slayer will feel that he is a person with the will of fire. Of course, this alone is not enough. At the end of the day, Monkey Flying Sun Slash, like the second dot generation Hokage, actually doesn't believe in Uchiha at all, but he also has more than just a stop water card in his hand. He also has Uchiha Itachi, which is probably the reason why he agreed to let Jishue come out to relax. It can make Jishue feel trust, and he is not afraid that if there is really a problem, he has no one in his hands. After thinking about all of this, Yu Yuan also felt a little relieved. At least he didn't need to worry about being followed by someone behind him, so he didn't dare to say something casually. But the third generation Hokage is really generous, giving you a month to relax. Walking on the main road, Yu Yuan couldn't help but turn his head and glance at the nearby water stop. He curiously asked. Are you really okay after leaving for so long? Speaking of which, it's not because of you. I want to thank you well. Jishue shook his head gently, and then he spoke calmly. If it weren't for taking on so many inexplicable tasks and even asking me to gather intelligence through covert channels. Finally, Lord Huiying found out, and I don't think it will take me that long Yu Yuan didn't take these words to heart, even if Ape Flying Sun Slash knew some details, he didn't care. Because he really wants to find some trouble with the upper ninja or even the rebellious ninja, he is not worried about being investigated. And obtaining intelligence through covert channels is actually a hidden rule. After all, the intelligence information obtained by the dark side may be more trusted than what the client has received, and this time the water stop will also follow. So as long as they don't violate the rules, waterproofing can provide some intelligence for them to use together. Moreover, 
for tasks that have already been suspended in the task center, if the dark department has more detailed information, it will be submitted to the task department according to the process. Unless some tasks are intended to be used to train students, they will not be disclosed with more details. For example, for a mission in a certain country of waves, Hannah Era would never believe that Kiba did not have more specific intelligence, nor did he believe in Kakasina's slightly clumsy performance. Both of them were not slow, and soon they had already left Muyi for a distance. Their mission goal this time is basically to rebel, and these rebellious levels are not low, and they are all rebellious from other villages. It is also very interesting to say that there is not much intelligence about the rebellious behavior of the village in general. Although it may sound sarcastic, it is a fact, or rather the entire realm of ninja. When a village shows signs of rebellion, they rarely stay in the country where their village is located, and the practice of darkness under the lamp is not applicable to the dark. And once they run to other countries and are discovered by other villages, as long as this guy doesn't do anything excessive in this place. So these villages will also protect them to a certain extent and will not leak their intelligence. However, such protection is not really good for these rebels. If the rebels have strong strength, they can be contacted and intelligence can be obtained from them. If the strength is weak and there is no intelligence value, then leave the village where he defected disgusted. Or it could be in a future exchange of interests, showing sincerity by handing him over. To put it simply, being rebellious is not really easy to deal with. Similarly, being rebellious in one's own village is often the most difficult to catch, and once caught, the outcome is also very ugly. Speaking of which, why do you want to endure so much? After leaving for a while, Jishue finally raised his own question. Although it can allow us to leave Muyi for a long time, I think you should have more ideas, right? Just treat it as a process of experience, Yuhara chuckled lightly before saying, after all, I also need to exercise well, and I said I also need to think carefully. Can I ask you a question? After a moment of silence, Ji Shui gently spoke up and asked, if, what would you do as the clan leader? What if? Clan leader. Hanaera couldn't help but smile when he heard the question of stopping water. After I become the clan leader, the first thing I need to do is naturally to integrate the entire family. Yuhara paused slightly as he spoke, then lifted his head to look at the sky before slowly speaking. A family can have many voices, after all, everyone's ideas are different, but there is one thing that must be done. That is to say, both thought and will must be unified, only then can we unite and accomplish what we need to accomplish. However, this is far from enough. We need a complete political appeal and action plan. Only in this way can we let all ethnic groups know what we want to do and what we want to get, instead of foolishly aimlessly tinkering around after saying these words, Yu Yuan withdrew his gaze and looked at Jishue. Then he reached out and patted Jishue's shoulder heavily. Any action requires a clear goal, which can be divided into two stages. One is to prevent the family from internal turmoil and allow us to live a peaceful and peaceful life. And the other is to let the entire wooden leaf hear our voice and let them know that we don't want wooden leaf to fall into internal turmoil. More importantly, let them know that we, Achiha, have always been in Kiba and we have never left. Yu Yuan's words were resounding and powerful, while Ji Shue's heart was also surging. Yeah, although Yuchibo and Kiba are gradually distancing themselves, their goal is ultimately to come back because they have never left. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Yunren You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Yunren The concepts of political demands and action plans are unfamiliar to Jishue, and may also be unfamiliar to most people in the ninja world. Even if they are already doing this, they may not have these two concepts themselves. For example, the Xiao organization has clear political demands and action plans. Their demand is for peace in the ninja world, and their action plan is to use military deterrence to force the ninja world to unite and form a peaceful situation. Although their internal voices are completely different, after all, 
the people who join the Shao organization are basically in a state of having their own ulterior motives. But it is undeniable that under the leadership of Chang Men, they did indeed follow all of this. After Yuhara expressed these two concepts clearly today, in Shizuki's eyes, besides shock, there was also a gradual admiration. From the perspective of Jishue, Hanaera, who can clearly propose these two concepts, may have indeed done enough homework. He is very clear about what he wants to do and what he wants to get, and this clear and concise concept deepens Jishue's admiration for Hanaera. It seems that my thinking is really too narrow. Yuhara has already reached a higher level. After obtaining these two concepts, Jishue did not inquire about Yu Yuan's specific approach. Because in his opinion, the information he has received is temporarily sufficient, and he needs to absorb everything he has gained well now. And he also wants to conceive that if he were the chieftain, he would face the dual pressure of the family and the village. How he will do it, what his political demands will be, and what his action plan will be. The guy Jishue quieted down, and Yu Yuan naturally felt happy because if he continued, he was afraid that Jishue would not be able to bear it anymore. This kid asked himself how to do it as a clan leader, but the question is, how else can he do it? I can't tell the water stop. Those who listen will stay, and those who don't listen will be sent to the pure land, right? Although this kind of thing may happen before he becomes the clan leader, he is likely to take action against some extreme guys. Especially those spiritual leaders, these guys are the most dangerous beings. If they don't recognize their own ideas and blindly want to use extreme methods to achieve their ideals, then Yuhara really has no choice. So some things haven't been fully mentally prepared yet, it's better not to ask too much. In the following time, both of them entered a state of rushing on their way, although Jishue still occasionally asked some questions. But these questions cannot be difficult for some former systematic education enthusiasts, Yuhara. His answers are straightforward and accurate, and each time they bring many benefits to Jishue. Along the way, Yu Yuan found that the look in Jishue's eyes was not quite right, and the admiration and admiration in his eyes could not be hidden. However, there is no way to ask about Jishue now, as after a long journey, they finally arrived at the border between the fire country and the soup country. I should have found it, it's here. Their goal is a rebellious spirit of Yunin, who is not weak in strength and very skilled in lightning evasion. The reason for his defection is unknown. When this guy entered the border of Tang Jigua, he was already discovered by the dark side of Kiba, but no one had planned to deal with this guy until then. However, this guy is not a peaceful person either. He forcibly occupied a village and even dealt with passing merchants. This situation naturally caused panic among the merchants, so they also submitted this task to Kiba, hoping that she would handle it. And this mission, Yuhara, also obtained more intelligence through the channels of stopping water in the dark, and he was Yuhara's first target. But as they approached the village, they couldn't help but show a wary expression. It's too quiet, it doesn't seem like a normal village, and there's a faint smell of blood accompanying it. There may have been an accident in this village, it seems that we are not the only ones who have caught him, said Jishue in a low voice, as he had quietly taken out Kowu. Well, I'm afraid someone has taken the lead. Yu Yuan's expression at this moment was very unpleasant, which was his goal. And this is the key to opening a kaleidoscope for him. He was inexplicably robbed of his head, how did he accept it? Do you think it's Yun Yin's person? Yu Yuan forced himself to calm down and suddenly asked in a low voice, after all, it's their rebellion. If it were Yun Yin, it would be troublesome. Actually, Ji Shui had already thought of Yun Yin psychologically, which made his face look less attractive. The relationship between Yun Yin and Mai is very bad, not to mention that the second generation Hokage died in their hands, and they attacked Mai in the third battle. Just five years ago, they used the threat of war to force Kiba to hand over the Hinata Ashikaga, which was enough to bring their relationship to a freezing point. Although Hinata Hinata was fine as he handed over the body of Hinata Hinata, it also had a huge impact on Kiba's image in the ninja realm. 
And Yunin also gained infinite glory through this action, which made them surpass Kiba in one fell swoop and become the first ninja village in the ninja world, both in name and in fact. To put it bluntly, Yunin stepped on a wooden leaf, so it's strange if the relationship between the two sides can be good. I think it would be better if it were someone from Yunin, Yu Yuan suddenly whispered, you know this is the kingdom of Tang. What do you mean, Jishue couldn't help but be slightly stunned when he heard Yu Yuan's words, and then he seemed to be a bit tempted. But what if it's discovered? Then handle it cleanly. Yu Yuan knew this was feasible when he saw the appearance of the water stop, and after careful consideration for a moment, he spoke up. First, figure out how many of them there are, and then quickly take out those guys with weaker abilities. I will restrain their leader and wait for you to clean them up before coming back to help me upon hearing this opportunity, Jishue couldn't help but ponder, and soon he nodded heavily. Those who have experienced the brutality of war on the battlefield, even though Jishue is a pacifist, are not any pedantic people. After making a decision, they also began to take action. When they reached the edge of the village, they were even more determined to take down these guys. These animals. There are many corpses on the ground in the village, regardless of gender or age, lying in a pool of blood on the ground. And from their death posture, it can be seen that they wanted to escape at the time, but unfortunately, the person who took action did not give them a chance to escape. And at this moment, there are still people moving their bodies to the center of the village, which may require centralized destruction. Upon seeing this scene, Jishue couldn't help but curse inwardly, but he still restrained himself from taking action. What they need to do now is investigate how many people there are on the other side, only then can they be more confident in killing all these guys. After some waiting and investigation, Hanaera and Shizuki basically confirmed that there were only four ninjas operating here this time. But they also discovered something that was a bit headache for them, because the guy leading the team was not a simple commodity. If you're not mistaken, that guy seems to be owned by Cloud Hidden Magnetic Dunk, named Troy. PS1 Thank you for the reward from the tree that doesn't grow. Thank you, thank you PS1. Cute new seeks collection and follow up QAQ, end of this chapter. Chapter 9 Magnetic Escape Troy You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 9 Magnetic Escape Troy Troy is actually mentioned very little in the original work, probably the only highlight is that he was summoned by the pharmacist. But Hanaera knew him because this guy had come to Kiba a few years ago, and that time their goal was Hinata. Even Hanaera had heard that during the Third Ninja War, this guy caused considerable trouble for many Kanoha ninjas on the battlefield of the Kingdom of Tang. To put it bluntly, this is a rare mention in the original work, but it is indeed a guy with exceptional strength. Encountering this guy, Yuhara also felt a headache. Magnetic evasion is not a very easy ability to deal with, because he can use magnetic evasion to control the opponent's weapons. No iron weapon, whether Kyumo or Ninja, can escape such control. And once he unleashes this ability, the weapon in his opponent's hand suddenly attacks him, which can be imagined to be such a tragic situation. Surprisingly, this guy is really a big fish. Yuhara whispered, and his gaze had also slightly changed. Although the appearance of these guys caused them to lose a goal, can they make up for their losses? Let's stick to the original plan. This big fish can't let him run away. Be careful, I will come back to support you as soon as possible. Jishue did not object, but spoke seriously to Yuhara, indicating that he seemed very concerned about Yuhara's safety. Who will support us then, who doesn't know? Yuhara smiled and nodded softly, then his gaze locked on Troy, and in an instant, his eyes turned into Crimson Sankoku. Fire Escape Fire Phoenix Immortal Technique When everything was ready, Hanaera was the first to seal and launch a mission. He directly chose the most extensive technique, and if he was not sure about the effect of this technique, there were a total of four people on the opposite side after investigation. Since there are many people on the other side, choosing this wide-dot-ranging technique has a much higher chance of being hit. 
Hmm. Be careful, there's an enemy attack. The reaction speed of these cloud-hidden ninjas is also exceptionally fast, especially Troy, who immediately realized that something was wrong. Under his prompt, all Yunnans responded, either quickly sealing the seal or immediately turning around to avoid it. Up. After the formation of Yunin was dispersed, Yuhara and Jishue had also rushed out of the hiding point at this moment. Their crimson Sharingan eyes scanned left and right, quickly identifying the specific positions of those Yunnans. Without any excessive communication, the water-stopping instant technique headed towards the scattered and evading Yunin. And the feather principle locked onto the guy Troy. He quickly stepped up and, just as Troy landed, his fist had already hit him hard. Troy's reaction was rapid, and he almost immediately made a counterattack. He crossed his hands and blocked Hanahara's punch at the critical moment. Yuzibo. Troy immediately noticed Hanahara's crimson eyes, so he instinctively shifted his gaze away from Hanahara's eyes. However, his tone was not so friendly, it could even be said to be full of anger. What do you want to do? Start a war. War, you don't have to say that. This is not the land of fire, nor is it your land of thunder. Yuhara didn't like this guy's tricks. He quickly stopped and then kicked Troy's lower body with a fierce kick. However, halfway through his movements, he realized something was wrong. He almost immediately stopped his feet and used a stunt double at the same time. The sound of the breaking wind sounded, but unfortunately, there were only a few pieces of wood left on the ground, and Hanahara's figure had already appeared under a big tree not far away. The stunt stunt, which is one of the most basic three-body techniques for ninjas, is often the most life-saving technique. Is your reaction really fast? Troy glanced at the broken wood on the ground and turned to look at where Hanahara was. Kid, you're very good, and your eyes are also very good. At your age, having such eyes is definitely not an unknown person. You are Uchiha Hanaera, right? It's me, Yuhara nodded lightly, feeling no surprise that his identity had been recognized. At the end of the day, Yuhara himself is considered a genius ninja of the Uchiha clan, and he has been carrying out missions for years, so he still has some reputation in the ninja world. It's not surprising to be recognized and he knows it's not the time to pay attention to these things now. As a qualified ninja, the most important thing is to abandon distractions during battles. Only by focusing fully on the battle can one achieve victory. Indeed, it's you. I have to say that you, Uchiha, are really special. Troy seemed to be feeling a bit emotional as he stared at Yuhara's voice and said indifferently, after you get your own Sharingan, you can undergo a qualitative change. God really favors you. What a boring comment. Hanaera still stared at Troy, but at this moment he had already started throwing away all the metal tools on his body. Heaven will not give you strength for nothing. If you take it for granted, then you are really close to death. Perhaps, but I'm really curious about the power of your Uchiha. Troy's eyes were slightly blurred, and a disdainful smile appeared on his face. Also, throwing away the metal can indeed limit some of my performance, but, without any warning, several bitter nothings appeared behind Hanaera in an instant. These nothings quickly passed through his body and pierced his heart. At the same time, he himself had already arrived in front of Yuhara in an instant, and he punched Yuhara hard. How will you face me without weapons? The sound of punches roared, but in an instant, Troy felt something was not right with his hand. And the smoke that followed also let him know that this damn Uchiha had used a stunt double. However, he didn't pay much attention to whether he was the genius youth of Yuzibo, who had already possessed the three Goyu riding wheel at a young age. Having such a reaction speed is also natural, after all, his actions are likely to be fully observed by him quickly pulled out a scroll, and Troy tore it open directly. For a moment, dozens of square-shaped swords appeared with thick smoke. Under his control, these swords suspended and began to rotate slightly one by one. And Troy also began to search for the location of Hanaera seriously, but in just a moment he showed a smile. 
I found you. With a roar from Troy, the square-shaped swords seemed to have received orders and quickly flew towards the hidden position of Hanaera. A house was instantly destroyed by these swords in hand, end of this chapter. Chapter 10 No Opportunities for Rebirth from Dirty Soil You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 10 No Opportunities for Rebirth from Dirty Soil The power is really good, and it works even better when used in conjunction with surprise attacks. Hanaera, who was flying in the sky, watched the scene below quietly. He couldn't help but exclaim, but his expression seemed more like a joke. Since he already knows about Troy's bloodline ability, he will naturally pay great attention to his every move. Before this guy controlled Kumo to launch a surprise attack behind him, Yuhara had already sensed the faint chakra fluctuations on his body. Therefore, at the moment when the chakra wave inside this guy began to strengthen, Hanaera had already used a stunt double. However, his movements were still a bit slow, and his shoulder was caught by Troy's helplessness. But this didn't hurt him, it actually allowed him to play around with Troy like he does now. Because after using a stunt double to change positions, he noticed that there were some special and subtle chakras left on himself. Ninjas won't do meaningless things, it's obvious that this guy left these chakras for a purpose. I'm afraid this is to track my location and then use the characteristics of magnetic evasion to launch an attack on me. Yu Yuan had already guessed at that time what this guy's general idea was. Therefore, he decisively took off the shirt that had stained this guy chakra at the moment when the stunt was hidden. Then he separated into a shadow clone and handed his shirt to him, while he himself used the dance technique to secretly observe everything in midair. He didn't fly very high, and he hid his figure behind a house without worrying about being seen. Of course, even if seen, it's not a big deal, and Yuhara never felt that Ryukong art was something that could not be exposed. Although flying ninjutsu is extremely scarce in the ninja world, it is not without it, not to mention the appearance of those Kenshinobu guys many years ago. Therefore, although Hanahara's technique is rare, it is definitely not a big problem to use it. Moreover, his goal is to become the head of the family, and he even has greater ambitions. Therefore, demonstrating sufficient ability and strength is also a very necessary thing. His gaze slightly shifted, and soon he realized that the battle on the other side of Jishue was nearing its end. It has to be said that the individual strength of Jishue is really impressive, especially in terms of speed, which is suffocating. His instant body technique is very eerie, even Yuhara, who has the Sharingan, must be extremely focused to distinguish which moment and which afterimage produced by his instant body technique is his true form. Being able to apply the instant body technique to a similar effect as the shadow clone, and it is also both true and false, even more eerie than the shadow clone, can be considered a unique ability of stopping water. Under the pressure of his speed, these equally skilled Yunren had no way to parry. One Yunren had already been killed by him, and another Yunin had also been injured by him. In fact, the strength of these Yunren is definitely not bad. Even if they are not from the secret forces, those who can participate in the pursuit and killing of rebel ninja's mission will not be weak no matter how they look at their strength. They just encountered Uchiha who was too restrained against them, and their proud physique and speed seemed a bit inadequate in front of the Sharingan. But my speed is also going to accelerate. Troy is the one who troubles Magneto, but he doesn't have my intelligence, so. Yuhara's eyes were slightly blurred, and below, Yuhara's shadow clone had been forced to flee by Troy's sword, but Troy remained vigilant. He didn't lean too far forward because he didn't want to face Yuhara's pair of three hooked jade riding will eyes. Standing in the distance, he controlled his sword and launched an attack, while also constantly feeling the chakra left on this Uchiha ninja. After several confirmations, he couldn't help but nod inwardly. This kid still has his own chakra on him, so there should be no problem. However, he still needs to be careful. Once a ninja is careless, he will not be far from death. He waved his hands and the two square swords in his hands came to his hands. 
The other swords in their hands quickly thrust towards Hanaera like magnets. And Yuhara's figure was very agile. Faced with such a dense attack, he also relied on his Sharingan to constantly dodge, shoot down those swords in his hand, and constantly approach Troy's position. However, Hanaera was unable to approach him at all, and every time he approached him, he had to quickly retreat. Che, I thought this Yuji Bo Yu Yuan was just so powerful, it seems like that's all. Seeing Yuhara's disheveled appearance, Troy secretly thought to himself. However, considering this guy's age and the fact that I have already dealt with Uchiha ninjas myself, his performance can be considered decisive and excellent. Faced with a situation where one is not familiar with their abilities and only knows that the other person is good at magnetic shields, they resolutely give up the weapon that has the ability to be attracted by magnetic forces. Being able to achieve this step is truly incomparable to ordinary ninjas. But without knowing the enemy's intelligence, this guy is destined to fail. Chakra suddenly poured into these two swords in his hand, and in the blink of an eye, these two swords became as slender as blades. Then Troy swung fiercely and struck towards Yuhara. The special chakra attraction almost guarantees that his knife can accurately concentrate on Hanaera. Unfortunately, you don't seem to have much information about me. Since that's the case, I'll send you on your way. Magnetic escape. Bird be double blades. The sharp blade slashed directly at Yuhara's body, and at that moment, Troy suddenly felt something was wrong. Because the Uchiha in front of him suddenly appeared fearless and fearless, he rushed towards him in a daze, seemingly not even considering the power of this technique. This situation immediately gave him a bad premonition, but at this moment, he couldn't even worry so much, and he directly struck with a heavy knife. Bang! White smoke was rampant, and Hanahara's figure had disappeared without a trace. A damaged piece of clothing fell to the ground. Troy's face changed slightly, did this kid discover the characteristics of his spell? Troy was not allowed to think too much. Suddenly, a figure flew down from the sky, and the speed was so fast that Troy could not react at all. And without any hesitation, the figure punched Troy in the head. Bang! With a crisp sound, Troy felt like his teeth were about to be shattered, but with his excellent Yunren, his physical fitness was completely fine. Although this punch caused him some trouble and even made him feel dizzy, it was not fatal at all. However, in the next moment, his face became particularly pale, and a pair of crimson three-legged jade riding will eyes suddenly appeared in front of him, completing their gaze in an instant. The eerie chakra had already been transmitted to his own eyes through those riding will eyes, and then spread into his mind. At this moment, his brain was completely blank, leaving only the pair of crimson three-hooked jade. At the moment when Troy fell into illusion, Hanaera quickly formed a seal on his hands, and then a scorching fireball was ejected by him. Ah! This fireball instantly ignited Troy, and the intense pain made him break free from the illusion, but it was already too late. For Yuhara, since he has become an opponent, he will definitely not show mercy. And you made me remember because of the rebirth of the filth, so I won't even have a chance for you to be reborn in the filth. End of this chapter